Guys, you see that there? I just got taken off of the watch list for early access to fractional shares for Robinhood. And I'm so excited, man. I've been ready to use fractional shares for Robinhood and to see exactly how I can amplify my, uh, my gains. I can amplify my reinvesting with my dividend. And we're gonna go over how to use these fractional shares for Robinhood today. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Michael Romero. Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for getting me to 350 subs by the end of the month. We still have, I think, a few days left and I wanted to try to get to 400 by the end of the month, but I don't think that that's gonna happen. But I am forever grateful for getting above 300 by the end of the month. Um, let's see how far we can get to 400 though uh, by the end of the month. Um, that being said, go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you already haven't, if you're new here, and go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help this channel. It helps out way more than you guys think, and I'll be forever grateful if you do. Um, but yes, yeah, so basically, I got taken off of uh, fractional shares pretty early. Um, I got taken off the wait list for fractional shares pretty early, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, last year, um, 2019, the last uh, quarter for 2019, Robinhood stated that they will be opening up, uh, they will be starting fractional shares the first um, quarter of 2020, fractional shares and DRIP, Dividend Reinvestment Program. Um, don't know if it's an actual DRIP program or not, but I guess we'll find out. But today I wanna go over exactly what this fractional shares is and how it will help at least my form of dividend investing because I will be reinvesting dividends. And if you guys are watching this channel, most likely you're doing the same thing as I. Um, but I'm gonna go over exactly um, how to maximize using this uh, fractional sharing program. Now, if you don't know exactly what fractional shares is, fractional shares is basically this. <clears throat> you can buy a fraction of a share of a stock. So if you try to buy a uh, stock for let's say $100 and you don't have $100, let's say you have $10. You can buy 10% of that stock with that $10. So you can buy a certain percentage of that stock. And the way it works is you still get a dividend from that percentage of that stock that you own. So it doesn't matter if you own a full 100% um, of one share of that stock, if you own 10% of that one share of that stock, you'll get 10% of that dividend. So if the dividend is, let's say, a dollar per quarter, you'll get 10 cents per quarter if you only have 10 cent, if you only have 10% of the value of that stock. And the dividend reinvestment program, which is a DRIP drip, it automatically reinvests the dividends for you. So instead of, let's say, you get $10 from stock A, um, instead of you having to go back and automatically reinvest that $10 back into that same stock, um, they have a program set up to where you can, it does it automatically for you, <clears throat> kind of like uh, M1 Finance does, but we, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Robinhood doesn't have that quite yet. I don't know when they're coming out with it or if they still do plan on coming out with it, but I'm so psyched that I have this fraction of shares uh, for you guys. And I got it yesterday and I scrambled to try to make this video as fast as I could, but luckily I got it today. So without any further ado, let's jump into the phone and really see exactly how this is gonna work. So guys, check this out. You're off the wait list. This is what popped up. <laughs> Get fractional shares to start investing in thousands of stocks with as little as one dollar so all you need is one dollar to invest even into a hundred thousand dollar priced stock doesn't matter the price of the stock as long as you have one dollar you can invest into any stock uh well any stock that allows you to be to uh own a fractional share of it because not every stock is going to allow you to purchase fractional portions of it now let's jump into robin hood and really see what is hidden for. So, okay guys, so let's go into, um, I already purchased a portion of some, uh, I already purchased some fractional shares of PSEC and I'm gonna show you exactly how and why I did it. So, basically, um, February 20th, I got a dividend of $1.50 from PSEC. 
So the whole idea is to reinvest. This is one of the reasons why um, dividend investing and dividend growth investing is so powerful because you take those dividends you get each month and each uh, quarter and you reinvest it back into the stock. Now, previously, before Robinhood released this feature, um, you weren't able to do that. You had to let it build up or you had to wait till you had enough money in your cash section of your Robinhood account to purchase any um, portion of a stock. But with this, so what I did was, so I got a um, $1.50 dividend. So what I did was I went and I purchased, as you can see here, you go to buying shares like regular, but then you go to buying dollars. So what I would do is 150. Obviously I don't have that in my account and I already bought it, but I would purchase 150 and I would hit send. Now, when I did that, as you can see here, I purchased 0.229714 shares at $6.53 of PSEC. So I'm gonna continue to do this every month. And this is really the power, this is the compound interest. Not only are you compounding your capital gains, but your, your dividends. And when you reinvest those dividends, that's whenever you see exponential growth. And what I plan to do is, not just letting my dividends build up and purchase whatever I want, but at least for the next few months, possibly the next entire year, I'm gonna reinvest every dividend into, so let's say I get a dividend from at and I'm gonna reinvest that dividend back into at and or from SPHD back into SPHD. At least until I figure out another strategy that I wanna come at you know, my portfolio with. Um, um, so I purchased two, well I tried purchasing two. Stag, I got paid, uh, let's see, Stag I got paid 60 cents, but you can only purchase a dollar and under, so I just tried to maximize, uh, max out my, just whatever I had, whatever cash I had left in my account, a dollar 17 cents I tried to buy it with, but it got queued. But I tried to purchase 0 0.033903 shares at $34.51. Um, so check this out. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna come to so I have $1.25 in my account still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, uh, let's say MPW. So MPW125, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy $1.25 of MPW. 0 0.0486 shares of MPW. You are buying $1.25 of MPW based on the current market price at $24.23. You will see 0.04. 86 obviously this is this is off market i'm shooting this on a saturday but it's going to as you see you know be paused until monday done and upon monday upon market open it should um allow that to go through but guys while we're here i'm gonna go over the past couple of days uh what i bought so the past few days i bought a few more um shares in a few companies so um February 18th, I bought one share of Pfizer PFE at $36.32, which was averaging down my current price of Pfizer. Let's see, I also bought one more uh, share of Verizon and it was filled at $57.92, which this was also averaging down my cost of Verizon. I think I'm actually down like four bucks on it right now. So I'm gonna continue to add more money to it while it's going down. Um, can't wait to see what the dividends are like from here. Uh, let's see, I received the dividend from PSEC and then I you know, bought it back or whatever, but I also bought a couple shares what was it? Yeah, February 18th. February 18th, I bought one share of PSEC because I think that's the last little bit of money I had left in there. <clears throat> and the rest of these is just basically me purchasing fractional shares of it, of these stocks. And also guys, if you're on the wait list for the cash management, I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you tap the button, you'll actually move up in line. And w if you get people to sign on to your uh, to Robinhood using your link, you'll also move up in the waiting list for everything. I think that's one of the reasons why I got it a little bit quicker than some people, uh, at least the fractional shares, because I do have a link in the description that if you guys want to start um, focusing on your financial future and your financial freedom, your financial enlightenment, um, they'll have a link in the description for 
two or three brokerages. One being Acorns, if you use it, we'll both get something. One being uh, one being M1 Finance, if you uh, use that link, we'll both get something. And one being Robinhood. Obviously, Robinhood is one of the best accounts you can use today. That's just a personal opinion of mine. But if you use that link, then once you use that link to sign up for Robinhood, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. And I will open your free stock and shout you out on this page. Um, <clears throat> but guys, listen. But look guys, I hope you found value out of this video and if you did, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps out more than you guys know for this small channel. And if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and consider clicking that red subscribe button so we can try to hit 400 by the end of the month. There's a little couple days we have left. Um, also guys, um, thank you so much for all who participated in that last giveaway. I'll be doing another one soon. Shout out to KD who won. Hope you receive your shirt pretty soon. But look, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you got to do is click one of these videos. All right, guys. Peace.